by Andrew Hollenhorst. He is the chief U.S. economist at Citi. Andrew, it's good to see you again. And what's your response to the latest inflation pressures? Yeah, thanks for having me on, Kelly. I mean, that employment cost index, you really cannot overemphasize how important that data point is. What that is showing us is we really have a wage price spiral. These are wages that are rising consistently above 5% annualized. Um, like you were saying, this is a rate of wage growth that really we haven't seen historically. And then you put that together with the price growth and you essentially have prices that are rising. You have workers that are asking for higher wages because prices are rising. And then you have firms that are raising prices because wages are rising. And that's exactly the difficult kind of spiraling dynamic in prices um, that the Fed now has to address. Is it possible it's just a one-off? You know, I, I really don't think so. If, if you look at what's driving this, you look at the labor market, that is the fundamental imbalance in the U.S. economy between supply and demand. We have about two job openings for every unemployed individual right now. You just can't find those workers. And until that comes back into balance, you'll see wages that not only continue to run at these levels, they could even accelerate from here. So much less than being a one-off, this is actually something that can accelerate in the future. And another reason why the Fed really is going to need to lean against this with tighter policy. And what is your latest view on what we should expect for rate hikes and for the balance sheet, for the whole kind of tightening that we're about to enter that we've really just started embarking upon? Yeah, so it's all moving in one direction. And what we're hearing from Fed officials on policy rates is that they should expeditiously be moving to neutral. Now, there's some question about how fast is expeditiously. In our view, that's going to be 50 basis point rate hikes at each of the next four policy meetings, including the meeting next week. Um, and then where is neutral? Neutral in a 2% inflation world is 2 2.5% nominal interest rates. Um, well, those 450 basis point rate hikes are going to get you there. Um, but I think we do have to ask the question, is neutral higher now? If inflation is running higher, every percentage point above the 2% target on inflation should be another one percentage point higher on the neutral nominal rate. So, you know, could the Fed actually end up going further? Could they think about 75 basis point rate hikes? Those are all possibilities, but we would view those as risk to our base case right now. Um, on the balance sheet, we hear, should hear about that next week as well, uh, with Fed officials getting ready to announce the beginning of balance sheet reduction. This is just swinging so quickly. Not that long ago, just a few weeks ago, the Fed was still buying assets. Um, now they're going to be moving in the opposite direction. What if they don't tighten by as much as you're saying they basically need to or should do here? So if you look at what markets are pricing, interest rate markets are pricing about 200 basis points of rate rises over the next four meetings, which is exactly what we're calling for. Uh, markets have really moved to kind of match our expectation over the last few weeks. Uh, so what that means for the Fed is if the Fed does not deliver on those rate hikes that are already priced, they're essentially delivering a dovish surprise relative to expectations. So it's kind of a strange scenario where hmm. even if you were to hike 25 basis points, that's actually less than what the market is expecting. And there's always two aspects to Fed policy. One aspect is what are you doing to the real economy? Are you slowing down the economy? Are you bringing inflationary pressure down? But the other aspect is what are you signaling? What are you messaging? And I think that's at least equally important here and why Fed officials really need to deliver at least what's priced in because the message they want to be sending, and I think increasingly are sending, is this is a Fed that is concentrated on inflation and on breaking this spiral of wages and prices. Very well laid out. Andrew, thanks for joining us today.